We're going to be talking more about modeling fraction addition with unlike denominators. We're at 6.1c, and there's a 6.1a and, and b that are linked in this description if you need it. We can use models to add fractions that have different denominators. So the 2 is the numerator, then we have a fraction bar, and that 3 is the denominator. Here we've got some fraction bars and strips, and this is really one sheet of paper. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see this in the images and you can print it out and use it. You can also find them online. Just type in fraction strips or fraction bars. And this is one whole. Here we have a half and a half. When we put two halves together, we have two halves. That is equal to one whole. So notice how they're all the same length, they're all the same height. Each bar equals one whole. If we split it into three parts, a third, a third, and a third, that is three thirds, that's equal to one whole. And we can do it going all the way to twelfths. If we split it into twelve parts, and we have all twelve of them, we have one whole bar. When the numerator and the denominator are the same number, the fraction is equal to one. We have three thirds. When the numerator is less than the denominator, the fraction is less than one. Here we have one third. It's one part of three parts. When the numerator is greater than the denominator, like here, the fraction is greater than one. Here we have four thirds. That's more than three thirds, isn't it? When we learned in video 6.1a, Will the sum be less than or greater than 1? Well, we add the numerators together. Here we have a 1 plus a 1. That's a 2. And we compare it to the largest number in the denominator. The largest number is a 6. 2 is less than 6, so we know the sum is going to be less than 1. We can also compare it to one whole fraction bar. So here I've got my fraction bars, and I've cut them to separate each part. So the one-half is separated from the one-half. Together they equal the whole. And I've split them all apart. See? They're all cut apart. And that's going to help me do addition. What we do is we take a piece that's one-half, we take another piece that's one-fourth, we put them together, and we can put them next to a one whole fraction bar. So we can see whatever the sum of these two are is going to be less than one because it's shorter than the one, isn't it? See that? Now we want the sum to be in the simplest form and that means the numerator and denominator only have one as a common factor. So we want to pick the smallest denominator from this group that will be equal to these two together. So we can just start taking some of these and lining them up next to this pink and yellow one and we want them to be the same height right here. So we already have a half. What we can do is take some thirds that would be the next smallest one. We can line them up here. No, that's too small. It doesn't quite meet here. See that? And if I add the other third, it's going to be too big. So it's not thirds. So we can try fourths. We can try lining up fourths here. And if I put three of them here, look at that, they line up perfectly. So, one-half plus one-fourth is equal to, it's equivalent to, three-fourths. Now, there are other fraction pieces that would also line up and be this same height but it wants it in the simplest form. So that means it would be the smallest denominator. It would be the biggest pieces we could use. We could take these eighth pieces. We could put 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see if I can get them to fit in here. And that works also, but that's not the smallest denominator. That wouldn't be in simplest form. Simplest form means the biggest pieces that we can use that would equal it, that means the denominator would be smaller, so we have three-fourths. So lining it up with that one whole bar helped us see that it was going to be less than or greater than one, the sum, and we can see that it's less than one. For this problem, we need to add one-third plus one-sixth. So we took a little one-third piece from here and a one-sixth piece from here. This is how tall it is. We can take our one whole fraction bar and lay it next to it to see that our sum is going to be less than one. See that? All right. So we need to find the smallest denominator fraction pieces that will be the same as this one. We can try a half with a two denominator and look at that. It lines up perfectly. So we know one third plus one six is equal to one half. Now we could have used other pieces. We could have used a bunch of one sixes. We know that lines up to that one. Look at that. Three sixths is also equal to one third plus one six. But that's not in simplest form. That's not the smallest denominator we could use. The smallest denominator we can use is the one that is one half with the two denominator. See that? We also could have used eighths or tenths or twelfths and they would have lined up, but it wouldn't have been in simplest form. So use the biggest piece you can that will equal these, okay? And then it'll be in simplest form. Now we need to add one half plus two thirds. So we have our one half piece and a one third and a one third that makes two thirds. We can take our one whole bar line it up next to it and see, ooh, the sum is going to be greater than one because it's taller than our one whole bar. All we need to do is find the piece that will fit here. We can try small denominators. We can try a half. We can see that's too big. The third is going to be too big. Half is definitely going to be too big. A fifth, that's too big. We can try a sixth. Look at that, it fits perfectly. So, one half plus two thirds is equal to one and one sixth. We have a mixed number. We have a whole number with a fraction. One sixth. See? So try to find the piece when it's greater than one that would fit there. See? For this one, we need to add one-fourth plus one-twelfth. So here we have our little one-fourth piece from here and one of the one-twelfth pieces. So we need to find what would be equal to that size. We know if we put it next to this one whole bar, it's going to be smaller than one whole. See? So, let's try to pick one with the smallest denominator first. Let's try a half. Whoops. My magnets aren't very strong. So we've got, well, one half is way too big. Let's try one third. Look at that, that lines up perfectly. So one-fourth plus one-twelfth will be equal to one-third. By picking the biggest piece we can to start finding out which one 
is the same size as this, we can put it into simplest form. And there's other pieces that would fit this. We could use a 1 6 and a 1 6, but that wouldn't be in simplest form. That wouldn't be using the biggest piece we could, see? But we can see that 2 6 are equal to 1 3rd, see? All right? So you can either go to my Facebook page, print this out, and then cut them into the little pieces like this and rearrange them on a table and you can see which fractions are equivalent to other fractions. You can also make your own with construction paper or school paper that has lines. Just make sure that all of your bars are the same length and then split them up into equal parts. Okay? I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!